<clears throat> uh, there we go again with me clearing my throat right bef- after the Zoom meeting starts. I could have clearly done that before as I was preparing to do this video, but no. Once again, I screwed up. Uh, I might have done a thing uh, today. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to be a pirate. This is uh, this is uh, this is real. This is a a real beard now with a real uh, black dye. Uh, I gave my wife a hard time the other day. I didn't give a hard time. I just she was uh, vacillating between blonde and brunette the other day, and I'm like, babe, just go. She's been blonde for many many years. And I'm like, babe, just do it. Just pull the trigger. Go, go, go brunette. And, and she did. And she looks amazing. And I've, I've lauded her and, and, and she's gotten tons of compliments on her hair. And, and the other day I was cruising through Facebook and, uh, and uh, not Facebook, sorry, LinkedIn. And, um, I don't even have Facebook, <laughs> nothing against Facebook. I just don't have it. And, uh, and she looks at a picture of of a guy named Jacob. Jacob, you know who you are because uh, you might have the same beard. And <clears throat> she's like, babe, why don't you dye your, your beard black like Jacob? And I was like, I I mean, I've been gray for since I was like 15 years old. <laughs> so I pulled the trigger. I, I dyed my beard black today. And uh, there we go. We're going to go with that. We're just going to leave that hanging right there. And uh, and there might be more to come. You know, I'm wearing a hat for a reason. I might have to have a surprise for you tomorrow. Okay. The point of the story is, you know, you know how much I love Zoom chat. You know I love Zoom chat. Zoom chat is the glue that pulls it all together. It's the complete UCAS solution. And that's what we're talking about most of the time. Sure, I show functions and cool features and stuff like that. But there's a point to all this. The point is that UCAS strategy that you have as a workflow, as an ecosystem, as a platform, Zoom can do all of it. You don't need separate apps that can do all these different things. You can literally do it all in Zoom. And that's the beauty of the platform is that meetings, phone, rooms, webinars, breakout rooms, digital signage, chat can be all pulled in to one application that you can deploy, support, manage, operate, train on. That's the story. That's utopia for anybody, whether you're a CAO or, or an information worker. Having one app that can do it all, that's why Zoom's here. One of the coolest features that we have is in, in Zoom chat is channels. And here's the power of the platform. Sure, I can text back and forth with all my co- my coworkers and colleagues. That's great. But what about channels developed for the overall solution? What about channels where I can talk to multiple colleagues at the same time? We can collaborate on multiple things at the same time. For example, say you're an HR um, um, department and you want to create an HR benefits channel, right? So you want to have a, a whole channel dedicated to all the benefits that you offer employees or prospective employees and you want to share that information with everybody all the time and you and they can come back and ask like hey where's where's this bit a document or where's this uh benefit you can say oh it's in the hr channel well here's here's a cool thing you can do this yourself as a user if you have the right right, rights and and the admin let you do this uh, right you can add channels yourself right here under channels so let's walk through that. Let's walk through that workflow, right? That ecosystem, that platform. Let's create an HR channel. Real, real simple. HR benefits channel. The great thing about this is it's pretty self-descriptive of what this channel is about. It's about HR benefits. Now think about this. I can make this a private channel by default, invited members to this channel, this little organization. You have to be invited to this channel. That's fine. But I want to make this public. Anyone in my organization should be able to see an HR benefits channel. What if we wanted to make this HR benefits channel external? So prospective people and uh, employers, employees coming into the organization wants to see, hey, what are the benefits that maybe Zoom or, or whoever you are offer to people coming in. You can then make this an external channel. Then you can allow external users to be added. 
And then you can even more go grow more granularly than that, right? You can say, hey, all members of the channel can add external people. Probably don't want that. In this case, right, we just want HR people to be able to add external people to this channel. So we can go right here by members in your organization or by all channel members, right? So let's just pick all channel members. And then now we can start adding external people. I have some people in my contacts list, right? Like, like Amy, you know, I do a bunch of demos with Amy, but what if I wanted to say demo at demo.com and send that via email? I can do that right here and demo at demo.com will get this invitation into their email. Well, can then launch their zoom client and can then join in zoom chat with the HR benefits external channel. Here's the power of the platform. Not only can we do instant messaging back and forth with all our colleagues and coworkers, not only can we do uh, channels with all our colleagues and coworkers. Now we can do external channels, private channels, all that within the zoom client. You can use the zoom client now to extend your reach beyond just internal. You can extend your reach meetings wise, phone wise, room wise, webinar wise, breakout rooms wise, all these things then lead to zoom chat. I don't have to leave my zoom client to do everything in the UCAS platform. That's the power of zoom. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody.